Hey guys, I'm Mark Miller, and today we're talking low light. If you want to get the best results in tough lighting situations, you'll want to stick around. Tip number one is always shoot in raw. That alone is going to save some of your images after the shoot, because you're going to have so much more room and flexibility for your post-processing. But we want to get the best results in camera while shooting, so let's go. Tip number two, use a fast lens with a 1.8 or 2.8 aperture if possible to maximize the amount of light that the lens can take in. A great lens that's very reasonably priced is a 50mm 1.8. Every brand has one and they're typically priced around $200. I linked a few in the description if you want to check one out. If you're using a kit lens, you'll want to shoot at the widest focal length so you can shoot with the fastest aperture available. Tip number three, pay attention to your shutter speed. Low light is going to require slower shutter speeds to get more light. Here are two rules to keep in mind. Your shutter speed should be equal to or greater than your focal length, meaning if you're shooting at 50 millimeters, your shutter speed should be 1 50th or higher to reduce camera shake. I'd also say that 1 60th is the slowest I'd go trying to shoot handheld. And that brings us to tip number four, use a tripod. If your subject is stationary or your model can hold extremely still, the tripod will help reduce camera shake and blur on your part. Bonus tip, use your self timer function so the camera can settle after pressing the shutter. Tip number five, raise your ISO. At some point it'll become necessary when you can't achieve a fast enough shutter speed to freeze your subject. ISO will cause some noise in your images, but a little bit of noise is a lot better than a blurry image. Every camera will have a threshold of how high you can press the ISO. Before it gets really bad, just experiment to see what is acceptable for you. Tip number six is focus. It can become difficult as there isn't a lot of light or contrast for your autofocus to work. Just grab a cell phone or a small LED light to illuminate your subject so your camera can focus. Once you get it, remove the light and take your shot. Also use your center focus points because they're typically better and more accurate than your outside clusters. Tip number seven, it's all about maximizing the light that you do have. Look for interesting ambient light that you can use to your advantage. Place your subject in front of a light to create a nice hair or rim light to separate them from the dark. Or you can use window lights to help light your subject. And lastly, you can always use a cell phone or a pocket LED to add light to enhance the look that you're going for. All right, so that's it guys. Some simple and quick tips to create better photos in low light. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments section what other topics you'd be interested in learning more about. I have several more tips videos in the works right now, so consider subscribing to keep up with some future videos and I'll see you in the next one.